Hi everyone and welcome to today's Healthy Hustle. If you've recently decided to switch up your diet to make it a little healthier, then you probably are looking to add more plant-based foods to your meals, which is great because these foods come with so many benefits for your health. But before you head to the grocery store and start stocking up on plant-based items, it's important to remember that the types of plant-based foods you buy matter because not all plant-based foods are created equal. There is a big difference between the food you can find in the produce section and the frozen veggie pizzas and coconut milk ice cream from the freezer section. As I'm sure you already know, plant-based foods are those that come primarily from plants. This includes fruits and vegetables, as well as whole grains, nuts, legumes, seeds, oil, and beans. While items like fruit juices and frozen veggie burgers technically fall into this category as well, they are not as healthy as you may think. Yes, they are convenient and often made with better for you ingredients, but they are still highly processed, which makes them less healthy than they appear. These processed items are given the plant-based or vegan label, but they are created in a factory where they're taken through several processing steps. Some of these steps, like baking and drying, can strip the original foods of some of their important nutrients. Meanwhile, other steps may be used to fortify the food with additional synthetic nutrients or added artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. Because of their convenience and the fact that these foods are marketed as healthy options, these processed plant-based foods are increasing in popularity, which has led to an increase in their production. However, just because these foods are widely available and derived from plants doesn't mean they have the same nutritional value as fresh items you'll find in the produce section. Highly processed foods that are marketed as vegan or plant-based may be derived from natural ingredients, but they often contain more fat, sodium, sugar, and calories than similar processed items without the vegan and plant-based label. Veggie straws are a great example of this. A one ounce serving contains 130 calories, seven grams of fat, 220 milligrams of sodium, 17 carbs, zero grams of fiber, and less than one gram of protein. Meanwhile, the same serving size of a regular potato chip has 160 calories and 10 grams of fat, but only 170 milligrams of sodium and 15 grams of carbs. Additionally, potato chips also have one gram of fiber and two grams of protein. Needless to say, Neither of these options are sustainably healthier than the other. Whether they are plant-based or not, processed foods almost always contain fewer nutrients and more sugar, sodium, saturated fats, and synthetic ingredients. While you may choose to enjoy these types of foods on occasion, the low nutritional value and unnecessary ingredients can impact your overall health. While enjoying any kind of processed food on occasion likely won't make a big difference, making them a regular part of your diet can lead to things like bloating, weight gain, and decreased energy, as well as more serious health concerns. If you're just beginning your journey into plant-based eating, it can be overwhelming to try to figure out which food items to buy and which to avoid. I get it which is why I have a few tips to help you during your next trip to the grocery store. Number one, start at the farmer's market. Whenever possible, start your shopping trip with a stop by the local farmer's market to stock up on organic local produce at a lower price than you'll find anywhere else. Plus, shopping at these local markets comes with the added bonuses of supporting local businesses and lowering your carbon footprint. Talk about a win-win-win. Number two, shop the perimeter. A majority of the time, you're most likely to find healthy plant-based foods if you shop around the perimeter of the grocery store instead of wandering the aisles in the middle. This is where you'll find the produce section, as well as things like dairy alternatives, tofu, and dry bulk items like whole grains, nuts, and seeds. While you may still find yourself eyeing the tasty looking desserts in the bakery section, shopping the perimeter will generally help you avoid being tempted by the processed foods that are kept in the center aisles. Number three, 
Read the label. In an ideal world, we would be able to get all of the groceries we need by shopping the perimeter of the store. But the reality is that this just isn't always the case. And that's okay. When you need to grab some prepackaged items that are on your list, you can easily find the least processed options by simply reading the product label. A quick glance at the back of the label will show you how much sugar, fats, and sodium the product has, as well as what ingredients are included. As often as possible, opt for the product that contains the fewest ingredients and little to no added sugar or sodium. Number four, explore the international food aisle. For condiments, spices, and other specialty ingredients, consider taking a stroll down the international food aisle. In many international countries, plant-based eating is deeply rooted in their culture and way of life, so you shouldn't have too much trouble finding minimally processed plant-based foods in the ethnic food aisle of the grocery store. When shopping this aisle, just follow the last tip and read the labels to ensure you're getting the most natural and minimally processed options out there. Whether you're planning to switch to a strict plant-based diet or simply looking to add more plant-based items to your meal rotation, it's important to understand that not all plant-based options are created equal. As you just learned, highly processed foods that market themselves as natural and plant-based are usually not the best way to go, no matter how convenient they may be. Now that you're armed with that information, you are well on your way to being able to fill your cart and your plate with plenty of natural whole food goodness that your body will surely thank you for. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.